Hey, my name's Graham and I'm at Rimmer's Music here in Bolton and today we're really excited because we've just got in, literally just now, well I mean we've had to put it together, it took us about 20 minutes, but other than just now, in the last 20 minutes, <laughs> uh, the Kawhi DG30 Digital Piano. It's the um, very latest one from Kawhi. It's designed to be a space saving, um, like grand piano look, um, without taking up all the room. Um, and also, I'll never need tuning because it's a digital piano. It's got a fabulous key action and a great sound, which I'm going to show you now. Um, but let's just talk about it first of all. It's got a lovely lid. You can have it at two different settings, so you can have it lower or high up, like it is there. Lovely music rest, which you can actually position into different positions as well. It's got four speakers built in, two, on, two at the top, two underneath, with two 20 watt amplifiers, that's giving you 40 watts in total. The 10 centimeters each on the speakers on top and 13 centimeters on the speakers underneath, or what does that basically mean? Well, it just basically means the brilliant speakers, they're on a nice wooden frame inside to give you lots of resonance, and it gives you lots of bass and depth to the tongue, and it sounds absolutely brilliant. So let's talk about the size, it's um, 87, centimeters no it's not it's 89 centimeters sorry 89 centimeters tall with the lid down it's 87 centimeters front to back and it's 148 centimeters in width so it really is a great size and it's that lovely kidney bean shape you know that you get on, on grand piano and it just looks great lovely chrome finishes a uh, nice a uh, chrome uh, looking kawaii there and the silver chrome pedals a lid that you can pull out there oh I've got a bit of dust still on there just from the box um, lovely lid that you can pull out lovely polished ebony finish that really rich black polished cabinet that you know pianos have and it just looks fantastic let's get to the sound the key action is lovely and responsive uh, it's got three sensors on the keys now. Sorry to waffle on a bit, but there's lots to tell you. Basically, the keys are very responsive, and because it has these extra sensors, if you're doing fast playing like that, it senses it lower down. And a lot of keys have to go fully back where they were before it'll play the next note. This doesn't have to do that, which is fantastic. So let's have a listen to the piano sound. This is the, um, the SX Concert Grand Piano that Kawhi make. It's the very best grand piano that they make, and it's in here. resonance for the keys so what that means is um when you press a key down on a piano that those strings will resonate but if you hold the sustain pedal down that, those strings will resonate but other strings will resonate within the piano and um, so it has more realism to the sound if they can recreate this and that's what they've done in here if i just press these notes at the top just listen can you hear that it's all over and the sound's coming all around me like it would on a grand piano and that's because depending what notes I play I'll get a different harmonic resonance it's called sympathetic harmonic sympathetic harmony they call it where all the strings will resonate in sympathy with the ones that I'm playing and they really do um, do that very very well there's lots of other sounds on here and in fact there are 355 sounds in here uh, I'm looking over this side because there's a little screen there that shows you the uh, the sounds that you're putting on, there's a few buttons. So I'll just press that. They're all laid out in sections. So when I press the piano button, it cycles through different piano sounds. When I press the strings, it cycles through strings and things like that. So this is one of the other uh, grand piano sounds that it's got. This is a Studio Grand 2. <laughs>
sounds together or you can split sounds. So this is a dual sound. So I've put basically the piano and the strings together. <laughs> Basically, it's a split, so I can have a bass down here, and I can have a piano up here, like that, so you can get like. play solo sounds together and you could also um, have it where it's, it's a feature called four hands you can have two hands here and two hands there so if you wanted to do a duet with somebody where you're playing around the similar keys you can do that as well so that's absolutely brilliant so if I just uh, come off that now you've also got a metronome built in and a uh, hundred rhythms as well so you can have your normal go in and speed it up and slow it down like you do and set the beats with the bell and that but it'll also uh, give you some rhythms if you prefer to just play along with the beat. So I could put that on like that. And I've just picked a rock beat. Can you hear that? And then I can play along with it. It's even got a do re mi. Listen. Do re mi do so la si. Do re mi do so la si. Do. So that's brilliant. There's loads and loads, and like I said, there's 355 sounds. If you are into recording and you want to connect it to computers and things, you can. It's got MIDI sockets, as in the five pins in sockets, as well as a, a USB socket. It's also got Bluetooth audio, so you can play sound through it, uh, like you, from your phone. Uh, or an iPad or, a, or an Android pad or something like that and have the music up here. If you did do that, they do uh, an app um, that comes with it. Uh, well, that doesn't come with it, you just download it, it's a free app. Uh, but what it does, it has all uh, a lot of songs already built in and lessons to teach you how to play. And they give you all the music box <laughs> to go with it as well. So you can put the music up on there, but you could still, if you didn't want to use the music book, you can have the, the music coming up. Um, on the actual tablet uh, that you've got there or you can take out the left hand when you're learning the right hand, the right hand when you're turning the left hand and either use the tablet or use the music book. So that's good. So you've got best of all worlds there depending on what you want. But um, if we just go back to the piano sound for a minute, I think it's fabulous. So this is uh, another SX concert grand. <laughs> sustain will be part sustain and I can gradually bring it off and it reacts in the same way um, a, an acoustic piano would. It really is a, a beautiful piano. You can also record, there's so much to tell you, you can record yourself playing and play it back and see how you're doing and um, it's just brilliant. So if you're after um, a digital piano um, or maybe you're thinking of getting a baby grandpa or anything, oh it's just a bit big, maybe this is the answer and it's 
It's a lot smaller in size, but still gives that wonderful effect of a baby grand. So um, hopefully you've, uh, you've liked my short demo. Uh, well, it's actually turned a bit longer than I, I thought it was going to be, but hopefully you've enjoyed it anyway. And I'm going to leave you now because I'm going to have another go next. I think it's absolutely brilliant. And I hope you've enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Bye.